Oh, the first trailer for Hellraiser Judgment is here. Officially and finally. God damn, it's been a long time coming and wow. I actually have to say I'm impressed. So for these long-awaited movies that I'm personally looking forward to, here is my trailer breakdown. Because surely it would be blasphemy if I didn't do one for a new Hellraiser film. We open on what is presumably one of the main settings for this movie, a house, abandoned. We know this is likely a prominent place in the film, as it's what's been shown in plenty of set photos. This is where the auditor, a new character, presumably begins his work. A cut to scene setting from the depths of hell, an unspeakable evil will reclaim his dominion. All the while, with each bit of the sentence coming through, we see our old favourites, the lament configuration, the puzzle box we know that is the gateway between hell and earth, the means to summon the Cenobites. But what's different here? It's restyled. It's a new box. The gold puzzle pieces are somewhat raised rather than the previous gold leaf being intricately placed on top. This is very much a more 3D effect. But also, who is holding the box? That isn't Pinhead's hands as he wears more of a latex leather glove with two fingers exposed. Normally, this is a loose glove. Is this perhaps the human we see later on in the movie or someone else? We see the chains appear, Pinhead's favorite of course. And finally, what do we see and hear? Pinhead. Some really nice prosthetic work this time round. We won't mention the last movie and the terrible chubby boy Pinhead they used, but this one looks the part. And actually, when he speaks the words, evil seeks evil. The voice to me, it absolutely works. It doesn't sound all that bad at all. Is it Doug Bradley? No. But is it better than the last one and actually not that bad? Yes. He looks the part here, his face shape at the very least works, and his eyes entirely black look fantastic, really pleasantly surprised with Paul T. Taylor as Pinhead. We get a super quick, super quick cut to what could be two Cenobites. It's difficult to pinpoint in honesty, as this is supposedly a story about the Hell Priest and another of Hell's workers coming under a clash of some sort. So the Auditor could have his minions as well, and these may be what we're seeing here. Either way, they look awesome. Again, the makeup work is surprisingly good. And then, who's that creeping around a doorway? The Auditor. So this is a new character, an expansion of the mythos created for this movie specifically. He is supposedly in charge of essentially documenting all your sins. From the looks of his gloves, he was the one holding the lament configuration at the start of the trailer. But what do you guys think? We get a close-up shot of his head, and again, pleasantly surprised with this makeup work so far. And really, I do actually like his design. It's just as if he's been through razor wire or been cut with blades all over. We get a whole bunch of dream-like cutscenes from a man freaking out to a woman bloodied up and we also get our first shot of the butcher as well. Again, not a Cenobite specifically, but more a minion of hell. And we also get a shot which is massively interesting. It looks like someone solving the lament configuration, which as we know, typically sends the Cenobites back to hell. But I could be wrong as it is such a quick shot, it's not overly clear. And again, a great display of the creature effects here. We can see it's all mainly practical. So going right back to their roots, which is nice. And then we hear the order to speak. Is that a British accent I hear? As he says, let's just dive in, shall we? Presumably discussing the sins of whoever is in front of him. Again, we get some scenes of torture. This one in particular was of interest. Is this Hell's Minions or is this some form of torture from humans? This, to be honest, does look like water-based torture, but again, it really is difficult to tell. It's more that the women around him do look human more than Cenobites. That's why I'm questioning it. We get the detective of the movie smashing into a house, and a voiceover tells us what they are investigating is really dark. Along with this interesting piece here, written on a carpet, I am a jealous god, right next to a corpse. 
More minions of hell, and then some of the human side of things. Cops getting too close to this case, lots of notes, presumably from whoever they are investigating, and then again, Pinhead, in all of his glory. They really do seem to have nailed the look for this particular version, and the outfit as well. It looks really, really good. The irony of the statement before Pinhead shows up in the trailer isn't lost on me though. The cop states, Jesus Christ. Which could actually be a nice nod to when Pinhead re replied back, not quite, from the earlier movies. We then go to a scene presumably related to an earlier shot in the trailer, the twin Cenobites or minions placing a mask on the victim. All very in-universe imagery here, very reminiscent of previous movies, but also subtle and unique in its own way. Really, really nice to see. Whilst this is happening, we get an incredible question and answer. Whoever, to the auditor, what is this place? To which the auditor replies calmly and matter-of-factly, it isn't. This potentially is going off the premise that this is again another dimension, perhaps neither here nor there. Some more awesome shots of the big, bad butcher with his oversized meat cleaver. Again, another shot of the twin Cenobites, presumably anyway, very much in keeping with the standard Cenobite clothing, though a little bit more latex rather than the leather that we get from previous movies. And then, the goddamn money shot. Who is that? Chatterer. I had absolutely no idea he was in this movie, but this is very much the same Chatterer we know. This is near identical to the original Chatterer. Not Chatterer 2 from the second movie, this is the original, or at least in appearance anyway. So it is awesome to see him show up. I never thought I'd be so pleased to see this Cenobite again, but wow, this genuinely actually did put a smile on my face that he's going to be back in this movie. I think what's more interesting is in the next few shots though, Chatterer seems to be going up against the Auditor. He's backing away and Chatterer is on the approach. What does this mean? Disruption through Hell's ranks perhaps? Pinhead against the Auditor and Pinhead bringing his friends along for some fun? Maybe. And this is the worst still ever, but this is actually the Pillar of Souls making a return. The torture device that arrives with Pinhead and his gash. We see it in both the first and second movies, and it is even in the third. It's the pillar that Pinhead eventually escapes from. Again, such an amazing callback, and really, really happy to see it. We get a few random human shots, police work and such, but this shot is what I find the most interesting. Pinhead illuminated, sat down. Not sure what significance this will have, but thoroughly enjoyed its imagery either way, and I'm sure it will be important. We get a few more scenes, one showing Pinhead's standard and favourite weapons, hooks on chains, pulling a victim away, and then we get the front of Pinhead sat down, with him saying, there's hell to pay. Quick cut to another of the new inventions for the movie, and then Hellraiser, Judgment. So, wow, what can be said about this? Overall, this trailer genuinely has renewed my hopes for this movie. I'm sure you can hear the excitement in my voice. Pinhead, played by Paul T. Taylor, this time looks and sounds great. Sure, he really is not Doug Bradley, but Doug can't do it forever, and this new depiction of Pinhead is genuinely not that bad. It's, at the very least, better than the last. The prosthetics throughout this trailer really did impress me. It doesn't have an insane budget, but they still managed to pull off some great and somewhat realistic horror makeup. The new additions look awesome, The Butcher not so much, but everyone else is fairly impressive. It certainly got me interested in what the Auditor is, what his overall involvement is in this story, and what his backstory is going to be. As I said, it looks like Pinhead and his gash are going up against the Auditor. Chatterer wouldn't just confront the Auditor without orders from Pinhead unless they are changing some canon here. But on the topic of Chatterer, Wow! Again, I can't stress enough how awesome it is to see that guy show up. I'm so happy. What a great cameo, and I hopefully he survives and we see him again. So, what did you guys think of this trailer? Has it, like it has me, renewed your faith in this upcoming movie? As we know, it is rumoured to be released in February, as there is a pre-order on Amazon, something that I'm actually now considering doing after seeing this trailer. If you have any thoughts or additional comments, then please do let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And if you did enjoy this video, then consider subscribing to the channel for more in the future and checking out my other content. I've been Mr. H, 
And until next time, I will catch you in the comments section.